Breaking News On the scene now of a shocking epidemic, sleep zombies have now taken every major metropolitan area in the UAE and all around the world. Doctors has traced sleep zombies syndrome. Your help is the only cure for sleep zombies syndrome. Please help us by solving some exponential functions problems. Our only hope and cure is solving exponential functions. After a very long time, unfortunately, we have managed to contact one of the scientists who will now explain in more detail as to what is really going on. Hello, I am Professor Algebra and I've been recently doing an in-depth research project on this zombie apocalypse. My research has shown that each zombie can only infect only one human per day. So, I've used an exponential function to help everyone understand this situation in depth. And for those people who do not know what an exponential function is, it is a function of the form f of x equal ab to the power of x, where b is a positive real number and x is the exponent. We can use y to represent the total zombie population and x to represent the number of days since the first human was infected. The growing zombie population can be calculated using the exponential function y equals 2 to the power of x. In this graph, you can see that there was originally one human that became a zombie. So the total amount of zombies started at 1. However, that one zombie infected another human, which makes a total of two zombies. Then those two zombies infected two other humans, and so on. Which can be presented in this way. So, the domain for this equation is x is greater than or equal to 0, since in this situation, the equation does not need to include the days before the zombie apocalypse, and the range is y is greater than or equal to 1, and y is less than or equal to 7,714,576,000. Nine hundred and twenty-three. Since they are all only an estimated about of seven billion seven hundred fourteen million five hundred seventy-six thousand nine hundred and twenty-three humans to infect in total, and there cannot be less than one zombie. And now, using this zombie equation, you can calculate the declining human population using the exponential functions, which is y equal negative 2 to the power of x plus 7,714,576,923. You use the same variables before, except in this equation. You can use y to represent the total human population. And now, looking at this graph, you can see that before the zombie apocalypse, there were around 7.7 .7 billion humans in this world. However, this is only an estimate as the human population is constantly changing. Now, on day 1, the first zombie was infected and the human population decreased by 1. On day 2, the two zombies each infected one human and the human population decreased by 2. More resulting in four zombies. This cycle will continue until the human population reaches zero and we go extinct. Thank you for your wonderful explanation, Professor al -Jabra. I hope that we'll be able to find the cure very soon for this horrible virus. Thank you so much for watching. Done by Lara Tarek from the grade of 11G1.